Yes, today's episode, truly a case of do what I say, not what I do. Welcome fellow Clashers to Clash of Clans Attacks and you may recall a few months and an update ago I did release a video called How to Lava Lunion. Today's episode a little bit more like How Not to Lava Lunion. Now I tried to model these attacks more or less after Roller's attacks after he was kind enough to come by and share them after he hit Legend League but you'll notice right away the beginning of this attack I'm going directly at one of the air sweepers, uh, not even really considering it. That is a true air attacking noob mistake. Now I did manage to get one of the air defenses down, but here come the rest of the lava hounds. Balloons spread way off over to the right where they're going to be useless and obviously going to bunch up. So we've got some big gaps, got the rage spells down slightly overlapping, lava hounds going down. I've frozen the multi-target inferno, so at least I got that part right. Big group of balloons right in the dead center. I dropped the second freeze, same spot, trying to get those units in over that town hall to get the second expo down to try to get some more of those defensive structures down. But you can see we've got the Lava Hound, the Archer Queen going to work on the remainder of my units. And quickly the air phase just about to wrap up, but we are at 39%, so it could be worse. We're relatively close to one star, but unfortunately that town hall looks far away. So we drop the poison spell, get rid of the rest of the lava pups, and now it's a matter of go for the safety one star or town hall. I choose town hall, drop some wall breakers, they get annihilated by a giant bomb, so there's three down the tubes right away. So we've got that enclosure open to a whopping one structure, and it's one of the higher hit point structures around. I drop in my heroes one after the other. They're gonna go to work along with those remaining minions. So one structure down, 40% damage, and now we're immediately jammed up against a wall. Really no chance at getting to that town hall. Maybe an outside chance, but so many high hit point structures that one balloon emerging from the clan castle not going to help things out. The air sweeper continuing to push the minions away. 45% damage, getting closer. The Tesla goes down for 46. And now the king is down. The queen luckily finishes the balloon before it gets to her. Royal Cloak, 48. Wizard Tower, 49. And the queen grabs the first star at 50%, turns to the town hall, but that new and faster single target Inferno takes her down before she can get that town hall out of the way. A close attack. Could have been much worse. I will take it and walk away with just one star and eight trophies. So Galadon proving that Lava Lunion attacks are not like riding a bike, or at least not for me anyway. So we try once again. I've got the Lava Hound, a Rage Spell, a few balloons, a couple of Delinquent balloons coming down a little bit late, but we do indeed get that first air defense down. Poison Spell on what is obviously only a portion of the Clan Castle troops. Now the Lava Hound's moving in, and look at that tight deployment of balloons. It looks so pretty, but it's oh so terrible, as they are all going to bunch up in one spot. Moving towards the center, first freeze down, grabs three defensive structures, but as the last raid spell goes down, watch the second freeze spell completely fail, missing not only the far Inferno Tower, but the Archer Queen. I easily could have frozen both Inferno Towers and the Archer Queen, and now I still have that Air Sweeper going to work on my units. So a pretty efficient placement of Air Sweepers in this base does not help me out at all. The air phase just about to wrap up. We are at 35%. Looks like the minion at the top of the screen, the two minions, will get two more structures, so that'll put me at 37%. And once again, considering what is going to be the option here, Town Hall or 50% safety. Now I realize there's an awful lot of defensive structures in the center along with two maxed out heroes almost at full health and a mystery unit still lurking in that clan castle. After another brief wall breaker fail, I'll go ahead and drop the king down and then the last of my wall breakers to get this wall open. We'll get into this enclosure and see how close we can get to 50%, but again, we need 13 percentage points. That is a long ways to go with just a few units. The Iron Fist already in effect. The Defending Barbarian King comes out to meet me and that is not helping matters at all. 43% damage and now the King ignores the Builder's Hut and the camp working on the wall. And of course he is going to go down 43% damage and there it is. It's a P.E.K.K.A out of the clan castle. 
and that is a dangerous unit for my queen to face alone or with just a few minions. So I go ahead and decide, all right, we let the P.E.K.K.A. wander up after that archer, drop the queen at the bottom of the screen and hope that she can get to 50% before that P.E.K.K.A. comes back. Now we know it's on its way back right now. There is the queen getting through the wall, finally gonna hit the royal cloak. There's the P.E.K.K.A. closing in. 47% damage, air defense for 48. Looks like the P.E.K.K.A. is going after the archer first, thank goodness. The Builder's Hut for 49, the Archer Tower 50% grabbing the one star, and there comes the P.E.K.K.A., but the Queen's going to go down anyway, just barely saving the one star victory. So hashtag one star wonder, Galadon moving in after another base, this one with an air sweeper under construction and the other one facing away. I try to go with a little bit more precise deployment of the balloons, extra balloons after each of those archer towers. Everybody else moving in, pretty good placement of the rage spells, not quite overlapping, accelerating almost all of the balloons, but you can see a gap right over that air defense and the archer queen the freeze spell on the far multi-targeting inferno but i think the second freeze spell should have been used right away on that archer queen and maybe the single target inferno that is costly because as you can see air phase over again 40 percent damage we've got some lava pups remaining from the hound from the clan castle but at least this time a little bit healthier front end attack 41 looks like 42 percent damage so only 8% to clutch that one star, but both Inferno Towers are still up and two Expos and of course, once again, the heroes. So now again, similar to the last attack, dropping in the King first, gonna go ahead and see if I can't get him to get me 50%. Better use of wall breakers this time, waiting for those defenses to get distracted so they do get the second enclosure open. So the magical number of six wall breakers that Roller uses works out very well for me. There goes the king after 48%. It looks like he might grab the first star by himself and he does. So there's 50% for the one star. I've got the queen, a couple of spells and some minions and archers left. Let's go ahead and take the long shot after the town hall despite all that stands in the way including that big elixir storage that we know is going to slow her down so i'm going to patiently wait for her to get this wall down bringing the archers with her and then right when she gets through i'm going to send in my minions so they all come in together everybody going after the elixir storage here comes the archer queen of course i dropped the poison spell thinking it might preempt some skeleton traps that pop but none seem to be coming now an earlier freeze spell right here might have made the difference i don't know my archer queen took an awful lot of damage gets the defending archer queen down the inferno tower down and the king down finally as he's going to actually turn around now the queen will go after the queen's throne and not quite get one single shot on the town hall once again, one star wonder. So like any attack, it definitely requires practice, the ability to try to recognize base features and defensive setups and deal with changing situations during the attack. We only have to refer to Roller's beautiful attacks to see that. But thank you guys again for watching. I appreciate you sticking around to the end of this episode. Don't forget to check out my other episodes. Don't do what I do, do what I say. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with more full attacks. Galligon, hashtag one star wonder. I like it. <laughs>